Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out new makeup, जो Nykaa haul मैंने बनाया था. I hope you guys have seen that video. I'll link it here or here, even in the description. You guys know the drill. And by the way, in case you're new here, hi, I'm Ria, and I make beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content. So in case you're interested in that, then please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Let's move on and jump right into the new makeup that I want to try. And today I'm planning to do Jello Glam. In case you don't know what Jello Glam is, I'll put a screenshot here. It's like you have to contour your face first, conceal your face first, and then apply the foundation in the end. It's I have done that once, I think, on my channel before, but uh, that was not the perfect technique. I learned it more, so I'm super excited to share with you the same. But before just diving into the makeup, let me tell you, I washed my face already. I used my favorite Derma Weave Hydra Cleanser. It is my absolute favorite because I've been using this since a long time. It's a super mild uh, face wash, and the ingredients are really, really nice for your skin. I've seen a difference in my skin as well. The next step is to moisturize your face and for that i'm gonna use the nutriderm vitamin e lotion again this is my absolute like you know current skincare buddies you guys know it i've been using them since a long time now so this has vitamin e in it which is amazing it just soothes the skin and also hydrates your skin really nicely you'll see and it'll get absorbed into the skin super super quickly so i'm just gonna nicely prep my skin using this also i'm done with my eyebrows already because i did not have like a new eyebrow product and i think it's boring step in makeup routine i don't know i just feel that way also i just did you see a difference in my eyebrows they were so bushy earlier i cut them off i actually made them thinner from the end i don't know if you guys can notice or not let me know in the comments how do you think i look um i'm gonna actually use a little bit more because today i'm feeling a little dry i don't know why all right so my skin feels nice and hydrated let's move on to the next step now i'm gonna use a hairband today because jello glam is not for the faint-hearted you know so i'm gonna also remove my earrings i don't know what was i thinking first step is primer and for that i'm gonna use the elf putty primer this is poreless putty primer this is how it looks like super pretty gonna try this and it's very silky smooth it's like a cream so let's see what it does to my face it's a, it is compared to tatcha silk canvas if i'm not wrong so i've not tried that product it's super expensive i don't know when i'm i'll be able to try it okay so i think i see a difference in uh, my pore size it's like really minimized and they say to just press it in like that i'm gonna use the camo concealer from elf it's called 16 hour camo concealer which is a big claim but 16 hour ke liye kaun makeup laga ke rakhta hai i'm just gonna open this as you can see all of these are new products so show that away this is in the shade tan neutral the wand is also pretty pretty big you must have seen this in my nykaa haul i'm just gonna apply this so I'm not going to dip the product again. I'm just going to spread it in a triangular shape because I just saw a Jello Glam video from Tati. She is so inspiring. Just spreading the product. Now I'm going to take my back 272 concealer brush to blend this out. I absolutely love the coverage. The shade is not perfect still. I would say it has this matte um semi matte finish to it and it is super high coverage i feel like okay so it's time for the main step in jello glam which is contour i have the makeup revolution stick foundation in the shade f17 oh my god this is out there the best contour product if you guys are looking for a cream contour get this foundation it's so good but it melts on garmiyon mein to ye pura pigal hi jata hai you guys i don't know how to maintain it but so i'm going to take an angular brush like this i'm just going to take the product you need very little of this product you guys i have done a mistake of taking a lot and i've struggled a lot so just be careful and use less just apply a little higher like so you need this much it will spread like anything cut down that double chin 
Another thing that you have to take care of is that you don't have to blend the contour like fully because we will be applying the foundation over this. Also this contour shade is a little dark. Also I'm not perfect in this technique. I'm just teaching you like I'm perfect. I'm also trying it for the second or third time. I don't remember. But I really like this technique. Like I really like the end result. How my skin looks and stuff. Okay, so once you look like a joker, um, move on to the next step. That is nose contour. And for the nose contour, I'm again going to use the same product. I am practicing nose contour you guys and I'm absolutely loving the learning process. I'm doing like surgery without getting plastic surgery. I'm now gonna take the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. This is how this foundation looks like. So I'm gonna take just one pump. That's it. Now what you need is a stippling brush. Now I'm gonna take this one from back. So now what we want to do is to take very little amount of foundation this much also you have to be very light hand while uh, blending your foundation you don't want the products underneath to smudge budge and stuff let me tell you something about the foundation i feel it's medium to full coverage i'm not gonna lie it says it says satin flawless finish which i think is true because it's satin flawless finish actually my skin looks so good oh my god i feel like i filter on my face it feels so nice for the loose powder i don't have anything new i'm sorry but this is also new stuff i have like tried this two or three times not actually more than that but this is a k-beauty loose powder i cannot go back to anything else after this it's my absolute favorite i'm gonna get rid of my creases and set the base in place always get rid of your creases before putting on the powder k beauty matte blush it is enriched with avocado and mango butter it is in the shade coral charm so freaking pretty oh my god i'm gonna use it and i'm so excited to try this and i'm gonna take a very little amount first because i have no idea how pigmented it is so i'm just gonna apply it a little Oh my god, it's so pigmented. I'm just gonna blend it out now. So one thing I'm noticing that my forehead looks a little darker. So what you can do if you have set your face and you still want to, you know, use a liquid or a cream thing, just take very little amount. I'm just gonna put a dot right there because I feel like this area is too dark as compared to the rest of my face. So I'm just gonna blend this out very like on the place where I need it see that was easy and we have like brightened up this area i'm just gonna blend it nicely now and now i'm gonna move on to highlighter but before that i'm gonna use this elf matte magic mist and set yeah it has a lot of fragrance and i don't like that in the setting spray so for the highlighter i have a lot of options i have this elf a uh, highlighter it's called the metallic flare highlighter i also have the elf jelly highlighter and then i also have the k beauty highlighter so i'm thinking of using the k beauty highlighter because elf ke humne kafi products use ki and the concealer the foundation the setting spray and i think the putty primer as well so i'm going to use this one from k beauty it is in the shade sunlit gold and also all the k beauty products have a mirror inside them which is great which is awesome for travel as well i'm just going to take some product it's so pretty okay now before doing my eye makeup i want to do my lips first also my lips are a little tinted because i did a lip swatch video before this video so it is the swiss beauty matte liner bold matte liner box it's made 12 shades hai huh? and you guys it's so pretty it's just like the lip pencil like the colorful pencils that we get um, uh, from the stationery when we were in school and it makes me so happy just looking at it makes me so happy and all the colors are different i swatched it in my previous video which where i did a nika haul so yeah these are the shades and i'm planning to do a nude right now so i'm going to use a cherry brown shade i am obviously going to overline my lips so while overlining i like to sometimes uh, cover my cupid's bow into like a circle um because i really like that pouty effect but sometimes i actually make my cupid bow like that 
but sometimes I like to cover it. So today I'm gonna cover it like that. For the price, I think it is amazing. Get it for yourself. Like, trust me, get it for yourself. You will be having like 12 lip liners for 500 rupees. It's a deal. It's a steel deal. Also, it's like not just 12 lip liners, it will be 12 lip colors. Like, you can wear this as a lipstick. No one's gonna know. And I love it. Now, for the lipstick, I have these Blur India's um, lipsticks. And I'm super excited to try these. I've never, like, tried these. Let me see what colors they sent me. They actually sent these to me. It's a beautiful, gorgeous red. I have a choice. So, I will choose a new lip. Hi choose karungi. But look at this beauty. Well, let me swatch it for you guys. Just because we are not using it. So let's swatch it. Okay. That's gorgeous. So this is a liquid lipstick. And it's in the shade Call Me Daddy. That's very naughty. Like a normal lipstick applicator. So this lipstick dries down as a powder finish which I love it's not drying on the lips I feel like it's a little bit drying but because I applied two three layers so that's why I feel it's drying but it, I don't think so it is going to be drying when you apply it like alone I really like the combo now let's move on to the eye makeup so you guys know the blunder that Nika did with me for the eyeshadow palette it's the Nika Case eyeshadow palette. I was so excited for this one. You guys have no idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to clean this up and use it. Firstly, I was thinking of returning it because uh, obviously I've paid for it, you guys. Alright, so finally after 2000 years, I could clean this up. It's not so clean. It's all over my... It's all over the place. Trust me. But for you guys, I'm not returning it and, you know, buying a new one because we have a video, so why not just use it? So this is how this looks like. This palette looks really pretty. I am not kidding. Oh, what should I do? I know you want me to use pinks and purples and not the browns. So I'm going to use this first shade right here. It's really pretty. Now I'm going to take this shade. So this color is like the previous one only. It's not like a lot more different. It's a little bit darker but there's nothing else depth type now i'm gonna go in with this shade which is dark and to just build the dimension more i'm gonna use this red right there now i'm gonna use a lighter shade which is this one this is a broken shade this one right this one right here it has this pink reflex to it It reflexes so nicely. Wow. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this lavender shade. I am taking a risk by using this shade, but I really wanna use this shade. Okay, I need to wet my brush. Uh, the Nika K eyeshadow works best with the wet brush. Yeah, so this lavender like the formula is totally different from the other shadows you know what i'm actually going to take this glitter a little bit i'm going to just top it in the center like bohati thoda sa so now for the liner i'm going to use the iconic lakme iconic eyeliner That's it. Yeah, it looks really cool. Now for the lashes, I'm gonna use this Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. Again, super hyped. Let's see what the hype is all about. This is how the mascara looks like. And this wand is so, so similar to the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I was about to wear the lashes and oh my god you guys this mascara is really good i was wrong look at that look at my lashes it feels like i'm a doll and you know if liner not hota na, i would say my lashes are like really high up mm, so this has never happened with me but i was filming or itni tez ek se barish aai, or light chalegi. like 
I'll just show you my room. This is the halat of my room, and I cannot film anymore. But I was just done with the mascara, and you guys, the mascara is so pretty. I waited for an hour uh, for the light to come, but light nahi aayi. So I was like, it's okay. I'll wrap up. You guys will understand. मतलब एक घंटे के बाद भी ऐसा लग रहा है कि अभी जैसे मेकअप किया है. Otherwise, I love the look. I'm so sorry, you guys. I hope you'll understand कि situation ही ऐसी है. I waited for an hour. You can see up. I need to remove this makeup. I'm gonna end this video right here, but I really hope you guys enjoyed the first impressions. And I'm so sorry for this outro, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one.